Hey everybody, this is b -Lit. this is Injustice 2 Online, this is episode 27, I believe? And uh, in this match, I am against Atrocitus, and uh, this is a post-patch Atrocitus where it's a lot more about pressure than just instantly going through the 50-50s. And I'm not really sure if that's better or not, um, because now it just, I just, I kind of, I don't know when it's my turn against him. Uh, honestly, and it's kind of difficult to fight against Atrocitus now. It just kind of feels like he just kind of constantly harasses me, and uh, my only real options are to push block um, or to just stand there. Um, but as you're noticing, I have not had meter in a while. I've just not been building meter. And he has been building a crap ton of meter. He's just been pressing buttons on me the whole time. And and I've just been sitting there blocking without a lot that I really feel like I can do. Um, and I was just barely off on the shield bash there. But he ends up getting a punish for it. And now I'm just kind of stuck, you know. And I'm, I really don't know what the options are for dealing with a process like this. And uh, it has been, I, I, out of all the Atrocitus players that I have fought against, I can't quite say that I've beaten more than half. Um, it, it definitely feels like it's not in my favor though. Um, in general when I do beat an Atrocitus, I feel it's, it's mostly because they just didn't play correctly. Um, you know, they, they either took too many risks or... Um, you know, just weren't dealing with the matchup well. Like, uh, most of the times when I play an Atrocitus that I lose against, they do what this guy is doing right now. Um, they pretty much just hold backwards, and as soon as I do anything, then I'm stuck in the strings. The very, very good forward advancing strings. And it's uh, it, it just kind of feels like there's a weird... I don't know, a, a weird dynamic at play here, and I'm not entirely sure how to go about this matchup. Um, doing the shield bash is not good, um, because it, it can just be punished or you can just sit there and block it, and afterwards it doesn't really feel as though you have the kind of advantage that you want to have. Um, yeah, there, there are a lot of things about that matchup that are difficult, and it's something I'm going to have to work on quite a bit. This is against a Harley player. Um, I feel like Harley actually, in my opinion, beats Wonder Woman. But there are so many really bad Harley players that, you know, it's kind of easy to... to. It, it's like the Batman effect. Like, I, I think Batman is really, really good. And I think that he beats Wonder Woman at least goes even, you know? Um... But Batman players act like Wonder Woman beats them. And it's because they're just used to winning. <laughs> you know, they're used to, like, winning for free. And doing the same few things over and over again. And if you stop that, if you've had enough experience with it, because you keep playing Batman players every two seconds, you have enough experience and, you know, the bare minimum isn't necessarily going to work. Sometimes it will, you know, but it's not necessarily going to be that foolproof game plan and people are just so used to whatever they are doing just working that when it doesn't work now they just throw in the towel and say okay well it's my character um, so this ending here I'm kinda of proud about that felt that felt pretty good I just really read it and kept the whole situation really really contained and I felt really good about that that armor in the corner there um, Wonder Woman actually has a corner game now it's not as strong as you know I might want it to be you know but it is it's good it's there now it's something that you can actually use and here's another Atrocitus um, let's see I don't know if I do much better against this I, I think I do better but uh, at the same time I don't think this one was quite as experienced as the other one um, made some errors on defense but as you're seeing right now I don't really have much that I can really practically do um, against the Atrocitus. I've just got to kind of walk. And there's 
a lot that he can do. It's kind of like the ball is kind of in his court in that sense um, when it comes to me having to walk forward. So, yeah, and then of course I'm holding backwards uh, expecting him to go in and then he doesn't. And so then I get caught by a stupid puddle. It's, that was a stupid, a stupid little series there. And of course, you know, he is still using that uh, that mix-up string, the double overhead string. Which, I mean, it's still totally fine to use. It's not like it's bad anymore. And I honestly don't really know what was all that changed about Atrocitus. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know what it was that was getting people to say that he was bad now. Um, I, I, I don't really know what was changed. All I know is that now people use his 50-50s less, and they use pressure more. And I'm finding it harder to deal with them now, honestly. Um, just because, like, I'm getting locked down forever. Um, and then it's just kind of like, when, when they do decide to go for the 50-50s, then it's just extra kind of mental damage that I've already gone through, if, if you want to say it that way. Um, you know, I was just caught... I think I was trying to buffer something, um, which is why I got caught by the low there. And all of Wonder Woman's specials are back forwards, which is really freaking frustrating. So let's see, yeah, I'm still, I'm, I'm really worried about the lows coming in, because that's of course where the combo's gonna come in. So I'm just kind of preferring, if I'm gonna get hit, I'll just take the small little overhead. Um, but it's just not, it's not working right now. You, you can't keep guessing over and over and expect to to do well and I actually I expected the combo to connect with me so I was very surprised that it did not now I've got him in the corner here and I know that before he's been using the interactive but he just wakes up with one he just he just does it I, whatever I guess <laughs> Uh, the Atrocitus matchup is something I'm going to have to work on a lot. I really don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing in it and um, how I'm supposed to approach his tools with, with mine. Especially once he starts applying pressure, it's just him building meter and me not. Um, and then my only option is push block, but then if I push block I have no meter myself, so then I can't hit him worth anything. Um, if I if I were to get a hit, and he's just going to hold backwards the whole time, um, and then just wait for the the cat to come back in, um, and and of course he's building meter. So even if I did keep my meter, he's going to have a crap ton of meter. And if I do hit him, what's to stop him from just rolling out? You know, so it, it's really really difficult for me right now to figure out how I'm supposed to be approaching that matchup. If you guys have any ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. I am all ears. I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching.